canal, yo soy Fran y hoy les traigo un nuevo video Estoy muy emocionada por hacer este video Hoy estoy junto a Adam Silvera Muchas gracias a Ediciones Urano por hacer esto posible Hola Adam Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, ¿y tú? Bien, gracias por me I'm Estoy muy feliz por tenerte aquí en mi canal Estudié literatura en la universidad Así que los procesos de literatura son producción so importantes para mí So let's talk about let's talk about uh, as you like a writer. So first question is, when you think the idea for a book, are you related with the free writing and do you just let go with the flow, or do you prefer having all under control in every chapter, or like Elsa and let it go? Yeah, <laughs> it's a combination. Like I I like to know where the story is headed, and I like to know what the characters are going to be going through but that can all change once I'm writing them for the first time once I'm actually in their head because I may expect for them to go one way and then they're going to be like no I'm going to go over here and I and if, I, if they're doing that my instinct is to follow them because they they are closer to the story than when I was just sort of like thinking about what it could be like that that means I'm actually following their actual trajectory and uh, yeah so I it's a combination now do you have a writing routine how is it no I mean I, I write anywhere I write at any time something that I do always do is I, I tend to only write my stories start to finish the exception was um, uh, Solo Quiero Nuestra Historia where I I wrote all of the today section first and then I wrote all of the history section and then I pieced it together but normally I write a story from start to finish and uh, uh, but yeah writing changes for me all the time so it's I try not to get stuck in one routine What is your purpose as a writer? Uh, what uh, message do you want to give with your books? Um, I don't know, I guess that like happiness isn't always easy and it can be really hard to come by but I want to show characters who are strong enough to continue fighting for their happiness and uh, whether it's in their final moments like they both die at the end or whether it's like more happy than not where um, the odds are just stacked against him or in history where Griffin is has lost the love of his life and doesn't believe he'll ever even find happiness again. I want to show that the um, the journey to happiness isn't always clean, but it's worth going for. What do you think about those people who think that young adult literature is not good enough? And about people who think that young people don't, don't read? Yeah, I mean, they're kind of dumb, you know? It's just like uh, young adult literature is just as brilliant as literature for adults, it's just as brilliant as literature for younger children, you know, these are all stories that people put their hearts into, um, and, and yeah, so I mean, like, a good book is a good book, it doesn't matter how old the protagonist is, it doesn't matter how, um, what age the, uh, the book is marketed for, um, and young people themselves are brilliant, I mean, they are leagues ahead of where I was when I was their age, you know, and, Hopefully, with each generation, like um, they're going to be welcomed into more safe and free-thinking uh, environments. Now, the feminism is very important to me, and I try to talk a lot about it in my channel. Uh, what do you think about the movement, and how the movement influences your book? Yeah, well, feminism is obviously clearly important, and. Um, we are way behind on the times here, and this is the result of, you know, countries that have always been led by men and have always been generous towards men, and uh, you know, has always prioritized the needs of a man over the needs of a woman. Um, you know, like my mom is my hero, and uh, like I wouldn't be where I am and I wouldn't be who I am today without her. And I can credit so many women in my life for being responsible for who I am today, um, more so than I can men. I realized too that I haven't, I realized this recently, I haven't had as many prominent female characters in my books and that's something I'm correcting in the fantasy novel, my fifth book, um, because it's just like, for someone who has grown up with so many 
women as heroes, why aren't more women being heroes in my own books? So that's something that I'm like, I'm conscious of and I'm trying to correct. And also, I want to, I want more queer women in my books. Like all the characters in my books, if they're queer, for the most part, they're they're boys. And um, I have tons of queer girl readers, you know? And I think for the longest, I didn't want to step on the toes of any queer women writers. Um, but it, I shouldn't see it as stepping on their toes. Like, I will always boost their stories as well. Um, but they are in my world, and they should be in my fictional worlds as well. I choose a few questions yeah. from my Instagram followers. Oh, cool. <laughs> when will you write a book that, that doesn't break our hearts? I mean, will you ever stop making us cry? Um, <laughs> I think any book I do is always going to be emotional. Like, if I don't have some deep emotion attached to the book, I'm normally not interested in writing it. Like, uh, um, because again, I'm, I'm the, the part of the character's journey that I am interested in, it's how they they move past their darkness, you know, and how they um, they become happy, and uh, or how they are at least on the road to happiness. So, um, so I think everything I do is going to be super emotional, and I'm sorry. It's okay. Now, we know that you're very close to Becky and Bertali. Yeah. We love Becky and Bertali in this challenge, and we also know you have a book together. Yes. How was to uh, write with someone, with someone else? Uh, well, with, with Becky, it was the easiest thing in the world. So, like, we obviously adore each other, we adore each other's work. Sometimes it feels like we're, like, long distance married. Um, and, you know, What If It's Us was the most fun we've ever had writing a book. Like, I can easily say that, and Becky can too. And it was interesting to combine our styles, because as you all know, Becky is known for making your hearts happy and I'm known for just like ripping them apart. And it was it was fun sort of coming to like, like middle ground on where, uh, on what an Adam and Becky book looks like together and not just Adam trying to write a Becky book or Becky trying to write an Adam book. So um, yeah, I loved it. It was seriously like I would, I would do another book with her easily. And finally, one last very, very, very important question to you. What is your Howard House? I am Ravenclaw. I used to I used to think that I was um, Hufflepuff and with like some Slytherin in me, but Pottermore started sorted me into Ravenclaw and on further like like inspection of my soul, like I realized that I did always want to identify as a Ravenclaw, but I never felt smart enough. And you know, being a Ravenclaw doesn't mean how smart you are, it's just how much you are interested in intelligence and in the pursuit of knowledge, and I realize that that I do identify with that. So, um, so yeah, I, sometimes I don't feel like the smartest person in the world, but the things I do know, I know really well. So, sort of a different Ravenclaw than we would see in the books, but I also love the colors, so that makes me really happy. I'm Ravenclaw too. Yay! I feel the same way. Yeah. Oh, Have you always identified as Ravenclaw? Or did it take a while? No. Okay, good. Well, that's good. You're ahead of me. Yeah. I see Ravenclaw. I am Ravenclaw. Yeah. And that's all. Oh, great. Well, thank th you very much for being here. Thank you for welcoming me to your channel and to Chile. I've had such a wonderful time here. And uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm so excited to get to say hi to your fans. Hope you like soon. Hopefully, yeah. And that's all. all right, bye. Ciao. Yay, thank you. This was so fun.